in the previous lesson we saw what is a hash table and what is its purpose in this lesson we will see the basic principle behind a hash table so in the last lesson we saw that hash table is a data structure which organizes data using a hash function and the purpose is faster insertion and search of data so the key idea is the hash function so hash table uses a hash function and the hash function takes keys as inputs and outputs bucket ids so we have a hash function keys are coming in and it outputs bucket ids and these bucket ids are used for storing as well as searching of the keys so what happens in essence is that when a new key is inserted the hash function decides which bucket to assign the key to and then the key is stored in that bucket but it's not enough to just store the uh, data we also have to use the data in the future that's why we are storing it so while searching we should use the same hash function so that it outputs the same bucket id and then we can go ahead and search in that bucket so while searching for the key the same hash function is used and it outputs the bucket id there may be multiple keys in the same bucket so uh, first we have to find which bucket id to search and then we search within that so let's take an example of insertion so we have let's say a hash function and in this case for simplicity we are just taking it as key modulo 3 so a uh, key will be the input to this hash function and the output will be key modulo 3 so modulo 3 can be 0 1 or 2 for positive keys so then we have some keys that will be coming in and some bucket ids and we know that it's modulo 3 so we will have buckets 0 1 and 2 now let's say we want to insert some data having a key 10 so 10 modulo 3 will be 1 so this has function outputs 1 so 10 will be stored in bucket number 1 then let's say we have 5 so 5 modulo 3 is 2 so bucket id is 2 so 5 will be stored here then we have let's say 2 in this case bucket id is 2 since 2 modulo 3 is 2 so 2 also will be stored in bucket number 2 so you see that there can be multiple keys in the same bucket in this case in the bucket 2 we have 5 and 2 in the bucket 1 we have 10 and in the bucket 0 we don't have any data so this is possible so this is how insertion works now let's see how search works so uh, this is the data that we had inserted earlier and the hash function was key modulo 3 and now let's say we want to search for 5 so first we will find bucket id so 5 modulo 3 is 2 so we will search in bucket 2 so which is only in this part of the data and we are concerned in this part so this is the bucket id this is not the data the data is 5 and 2 and we will go ahead and search so there can be different ways how you will design your search algorithm we are not concerned with that so somehow you will search within that subset of data within that bucket itself now let's say we want to search for 20 so 20 modulo 3 will be 2 so it will search in this bucket but it will not find 20 so it will return false so this is how hash table works internally and the purpose is faster insertion and search so that's all for this lesson. See you in the next lesson.